Okay, um, today we're looking at grinding in valves. Um, if you're, I mean, if you've changed the head or if you're, um, you know, if you've changed valves or if you've changed the head gasket, it's always worth checking your valves. Um, initially, we'll look at what to look for um, in terms of problems, issues, and, uh, and you know, to see what's wrong with a valve. Um, now, what you do is you take them out. Now, this, this head here has suffered some pretty serious water damage down the exhaust. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's to be fair, it's I may not be able to salvage it, but I'm, gonna, I'm having a go. Right, what we're looking for on the valves, we're looking for dark spots, grey spots, and just, just pits of corrosion. It should be a nice, bright, 3 4 mil wide, um, shiny face on that where the valve hits the seat. We also want to be looking on the valve seat itself for little pits and bits and bobs like that. You can see there's quite a lot on there. Now, <clears throat> here's something to consider, okay? This valve seat runs back about, in this case, about half an inch. So you can actually cut this right back to get rid of all those pits. Now normally you'd want to use a machine, you'd get the machine that um, that cuts a nice perfect angle on those valve seats back in um, and uh, you'd do the same with the valve um, but you know if you're watching my videos that's not what you're after doing. Uh, what you're after doing is getting it going and getting it running. Uh, what I do is I get some grinding paste, here's some coarse and here's some fine get some grinding paste and I grind the two, uh, I grind the, the, the pits back uh, with the grinding paste. Now as I say this head is pretty much junk. Um, I have actually cut this valve back uh, probably almost two mil um, to get rid of the, 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 the pits in it. That's how they should sit, you can see that there's almost, that's very, that's two mil there down in and this one's more like three and a half mil down in but it'll work um, so what I do now you may think oh god how long is that going to take to to grind it back with grinding paste all the way now a lot of people obviously are going to hate this idea but what you do is you get your electric drill you put your little bit of grinding paste on your um, on your valve get your little bit of grinding paste on your valve like that you get a bit of oil and put it on the valve stem here. Now you've got to be careful not to get grinding paste on the valve stem because if you do, what it's going to do is it's going to ruin your valve stem, um, uh, your valve guides. What you do then, turn your head, get your electric drill. I know this is a different valve I'm going on, but get your electric drill and just gently close the shock up like so and um, you can then and I won't show you much more of the noisy bit <clears throat> you can then very quickly and easily just grind those in obviously you lap with your coarse first and you always finish off with your fine and yes, most people are going to be saying to me that doing this much grinding is going to ruin your um, valve guides. But you know what? Those valve guides are really easy to change if you can purchase them for your particular engine. All you've got to do is tap them out and then tap a new set back in. This piece of this guide here, let me show you a bit more closely, this guide here is just press fit into the head. Now because it's such a nice shape, you can tap them out from below, you can get a, a socket or, or a bar and tap them out from below because they've got a nice um, tapered end, so it doesn't matter if you smush them over a bit. Tap them out from below and you can just tap a new one back in. Quick, easy and also how deep in it goes isn't as crucial as you'd think because it's not going to interfere with anything, it's not going to end up you know, catching catching the top of the valve, you know, you, so you can, be, you can get your valve guides in, in there wrong by hmm, half a mil a mil. Um, without causing any issue. Um, yeah, there we are. I mean, a lot of people are going to hate this. What they're thinking is that you could bend the valve. Now, if you're harsh with the with the drill, you could bend the valve. It's true. Um, you could end up forcing the valve down and bending it. You could also end up, if you get grinding paste in in here, you could end up getting quite a loose. Um, 
valve guide. Uh, but it's it's um, such a quick and easy way to do it with the drill. You obviously what you're doing is you're you're letting it. You're pushing forwards and backs, forwards and back. And what you're doing by pushing forwards is you're letting the some fresh paste spray out onto the face of the valve. Um, and then what you're looking for is you're looking for your. Um, this is one I'm in the middle of grinding. Um, you're looking for a nice a nice um, grade patch the whole way round, both on the face and on the guide, uh, sorry, and on the, the seat. Um, but this one, unfortunately, has still got um, has still got a few pits on it. Now, really, this is, this is dependent on the type of machine you're working on. Let's be honest. If you're working on some beautiful, you know, 2013 Merck engine, um, you don't want to be doing this. This is a Perkins 10310, um, same type that goes in a, a mini digger, uh, JCB801 and things. Um, it's a 1989 engine, um, it's had water damage um, down the exhaust, uh, so it's pitted the valves. And at the end of the day, it'll cost me, um, say, 100 quid to get the valves reseated. You know, to take them off and get the the, the seats, the valve seats reground, and then new valves, hundred quid minimum, probably then valves as well, sixty, seventy quid. So we might be talking almost two hundred quid to do this head properly. Now I could get a used head for that, but this might work. Well, sorry, no, not this might work. This will work. I will. Um, I'll show you a video of it running at the end. Um, yeah, subscribe, guys. Um, this will work, and this will be no issue. Um, so, and all it's costing you is a little bit of time, and it's not much using the drill, and some grinding paste. Right, hope that helps. Um, there we are.